hi everyone on my screen i have a brief um, outline of what i'll be demoing to you today so this basically is an expense management system that i have built uh, for frappe and for erp next because of course i know that if you have been a erp next user you know that it doesn't it doesn't have an expense management module so here i'm going to be showing you how this works starting from employees having the capability to create expenses and then the employees uh, can either create these expenses from either one expense or a group of expenses so you can group expenses into one and then create a report from those expenses the other thing is once they have been created then the employee can submit that report for approval by their managers that is that step and then once that is done the manager can either approve uh, the expense report or either return it back to the employee for probable or uh, possible amendments that are required and then when that meets all the criteria then the expense managers approve the expense and then it is forwarded for uh, for approval by the finance department or the finance team and once the finance team receives the uh, expense claim then they can either approve it or reject it and if all goes well and they approve it then they also are given the capability to also go ahead and create journal entries from that and this is not uh, manually entering the journal entries but rather the journal entries are going to be created at the click of a button so let's get off this boring uh, list here and let's go to the system and here i have a user logged in as an employee so you can see this is uh, user karani jeffrey and here if you see on the accounting uh, module here on the side i have added one extra link here which reads expenses and here i have kept the, the system very simple or the, rather the module very simple has just four links but of course you can expand it to uh, add other links that you find uh, important in your daily to daily use so the employee will come here and go ahead and create the first expense they can decide to use this uh, on the quick entry form or they can edit in full and you can see immediately the system picks the employee that is logged in there right so we can see this is uh, maybe traveling to uh, where were we traveling traveling to Mombasa for instance and then here we need to select the category and let me say for instance this is traveling costs and you see here let me show you something else here before we go what we have done is that uh, when we are selecting this category here the category we are talking about is this expense category so that we have i have made the system in such a way that you can create your expense categories and these expense categories are critical because they are linked to expense accounts so for instance if i am to create a new expense category called x x uh, y z then you see here i'm linking this directly to an expense account right so uh, that is why this one is very important and once you select for instance travel cost the system will know that this is uh, supposed to be marked or to be mapped or booked into the expense travel expenses and if you select marketing uh, sales and marketing expenses it's going to be booked inside the sales expenses i thought it's important to mention that to you so the category here when the employee is selecting they are going to select whatever it is so in this case travel cost and then go ahead and choose the expense date which could be maybe 25th and then what the amount was so here i can say the amount was let's say uh six thousand all right and then after that you can add some notes some notes here which are not mandatory but of course it's important to have that field there then you can go ahead and save this thing you see that has allowed me to save and why am i saying it has allowed me to save if you see down here we have expense splitting and expense splitting basically what it does is you could be having a number of items into this expense and you would like to split them down here so what you do is you just come here add an item like let's say transport and say transport took four thousand out of the six thousand and you can see it is automatically giving you the totals here 
and then you can add another thing like i also had meals and meals took let's say how much let's say 1500 and that is 5500 now if we try to save this the system is going to tell us that the split amount is not matching the total amount that we have here so we need to add another row and then say this is probably mobile credit and again if we miss this and do 600 you see this is coming to 6100 this is 6000 it's not going to allow us to save so it has to be accurate maybe let's say this one was 1400 you so you can change this to 1400 this is 6000 now and that is that is going to allow us to save let me let me quit this all right so you can also do expense splitting down here which is not mandatory so if i remove all these columns is going to allow me to save but if you have a column here then the totals here have to match the total that you have up here here you can also add expenses i'm not interested in that at the moment so i'm just going to go ahead and save now once the employee saves this remember it could be just saving it probably at the beginning of the month but then the claims are going to be made at the end of the month so they may not need to create a report out of this immediately so i'm going to be showing you that next but in this one I, I would like us to imagine or to assume that this employee wants to submit this expense alone so they don't have any other expenses so you see here where we have create report this is where the employee needs to create to click so when i click on this the system will navigate me to a report and you see here the system has fetched everything from uh, uh, my expense and it has m created another table down here where we have all the expenses and in our case there was only one expense so in this case i would like to take you back to the expenses and even before we proceed with the report because you can see this is our, an expense report i would like you to see that the status of this now has changed from draft to submitted that is what has happened there all right so when we come here the employee can choose to submit this to manager so just click on this and submit to manager and that is gone so when that is done then the employee does not have any other authority to change this document into anything and the next action we have here is recall so they can decide to recall that document if they made an error or for whatever reason now when this one is here the manager has to be the one approving so i have also logged in here as a manager you can see here i'm logged in as karani joffrey i'm going to switch tabs here and go to uh expenses and then i'm going to click on expense expense report all right i'll find that there is one expense report here and here uh, you see i'm logged in here now as expense uh, of course i've created a user called uh, expense manager so here the expense manager has other actions like as a way to finance and request amendment request amendment is when they need to forward it back to the employee submit to finance is when they are approving this and forwarding it to finance and something else that i will i needed to mention is that you can also attach a physical a physical receipt or rather uh, an attachment for the receipt if that is needed you can do that from here so let me go ahead and approve this and once that is done then the status changes to pending finance and now this user i have given this user permissions to also become an accounting user but the people or the uh, users that are going to be able to do this action now will be only the people with the role of an accounting user i wanted to keep the video short so i give this guy all the permissions so if you check here now because i am now uh, 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 this user also has accounting user role they can either approve or reject let's say they go ahead and approve and when they approve this goes to approved and a button shows up here for create journal entries and here you see there is another field that has also shown up that says paying account so where are you going to be paying this money from i would also want to open a new tab here and show you how the chart of accounts looks so that we can uh, start from one point uh, and understand how we are going this thing how are going going about it so i only have here two million into my ncba account and there isn't any other money here except of course 
the opening balances which are used to refill the NCBA account. So I'm going to be using this as a paying account so that we can see it decreasing. And then, of course, remember now our expense is in some category here. So we are also expecting that one of these accounts is going to be affected when we create these journal entries. And remember that we did not map this account anywhere else except in the uh, expense categories section that I showed you earlier. So let's go ahead then and uh, try to create journal entries without this account. So when we do that, tells us that we need to provide a paying account, of course, because we have to pay the money from somewhere. So let me go ahead and then and select NCBA here and then update this. And then I click on create journal entries. When I create journal entries, if I come first of all to my chart of accounts and refresh, uh, we will see that NCBA has been affected. Let's see what was the total of this. This was 6,000. NCBA now is affected. It has 1,994,000. And when you come down here, you will see that there is a travel expense for 6,000. So that has been booked into that account. Let's go and see how the journal entries have been made. So I'll not close this. I'll just go here and go to journals. So what has happened to our journals? This one said cancelled. This is the one that I used to refill the account. This one said cancelled so that the accounts can be balanced. So that we can start with a, a clean figure like 2 million and see them decreasing. But otherwise the journal that has just been created now is this one for 6,000. If you open it, it has this information here. And then it has a credit in NCBA. And it has a debit in our travel expenses and if you come uh, to more information of course if you needed to add any information here you can also add it so this is what happens here all right now that is the process of an employee who is posting just one expense how about if we have multiple expenses so remember again this is not the employee that is logged in here the employee need to log in from uh, need to be the one entering the expense so i'll go here and create two more expenses and before that let me show you that the travel cost uh, that we saw so let me go here and go to chart of accounts from here and you can see that the uh, sorry the account that was affected here was uh this one travel expenses that is basically because that is the account that is attached to this expense that was incurred here so let's go ahead and add two more expenses so the first one is going to be let's say traveling to eldoret and this one category we are going to say again is travel expenses and this one took uh 7800 7800 and then the date was whichever date you choose to pick if you want to break it down you can also break it down it's not mandatory but you can just break it down and say there was travel and there was what else there was meals so travel was 4500 and meals was let's see 3000 this is 75 instead of 78 so we just add another three here just to, so that the balance is right we save that. That is our first expense. You see it's in draft. We add another expense and we say this one is uh, meeting with prospect. And here we can see the category now is marketing expense because I would like to see it going into a different uh, expense account when we create the journals. And we say this one was 4500 and we met the client on 28th and uh when we come down here we can split it also and say that this was basically meals for the whole of it we just took uh, coffee all right so we can save this and now you notice that we have two expenses here that are in draft how do we forward this then so we just basically select the ones that we want to forward and you notice here that we also uh, on this page have a button create report so when we click on create report that goes, goes ahead and creates our report and now if we go to expense report we are going to notice that there is a new report that just came up we open it and you notice that the information here is the same as the other one but down here we have two items now 
So we have travel costs and we have sales and marketing costs and these are the amounts for reach. Again, the process repeats itself. So you can again go ahead and submit to manager. And then of course that is gone now to manager so we can't change it anymore. And now when we go back to our manager here, we can do expense report. We can open it here. This is our expense report. And this manager can submit to finance and then the finance can approve and once they approve, they can actually decide to create general entries from here or from here. Whichever you choose is going to work the same way. Now, this is very interesting because I we would like to see how the journals are going to be created, right? Because we have two expenses here. Why don't we go ahead and click on this and see? Please provide the account. Of course, let's get it again from NCBA. So select this one and go and then click journal entries. So when we do that, we go to our journals there is a journal that just popped up now and this is it open it and this is what happened so we have ncbe a credit of 12300 and then we have sales expenses 4500 and we have travel expenses 7000 that's amazing then when we come to our chart of accounts here and refresh of course now we expand it ncba will be affected again and let's scroll down because we are very much interested in this and we notice that now travel expenses have been added so the whatever we had before plus what we just did now that makes 13,800 and now even sales expenses with the coffee we took with our, with our prospect has now been uh, recorded into the sales expenses so this is it uh, ladies and gentlemen i am going to be putting this code on open source on github and the link to that github is on the description below i will also write a blog post about the same thing on code with karani so you can just look with code with karani here there we go code with karani you can open it there is also going to be everything about whatever we have done here on this blog post uh, let me just load it on my chrome so actually yeah here it is so code with karani is going to be on here and also the other thing is that if you need any help with that script of course because it is open source you can write to me on opensoft just go to the contact page write to me here and i'm going to be getting back to you other than that please let me know what your thoughts are let me know what we can improve let me know where we can add more functionality to serve you better but we look forward to making this a great uh, resource that anybody can benefit from thank you so much for your time and i hope to see you in my next video